All right, so on my Discord, um, I've offered to provide my lap files so guys can use them as a training tool. I try to help where I can. I'm not an alien. I'm just an average guy. Um, figure if I help somebody get faster, it'll make the racing better. It'll make the racing more enjoyable to people who will hopefully stick around longer. So. That's kind of what this video is for. It's to help those figure out what to do with the comparison laps, where to put them, how to get it set up in iRacing so they can use them for their practice sessions. Okay. Um, if you come to my Discord and you get one of my, my uh, lap files, okay, you're going to download them. You're going to find them in your downloads folder. So what you're going to do is you're going to go and you're going to cut those. And then you're going to go into your documents. You're going to go into iRacing. You're going to go into your lap files. Now, depending on the track, if you have a track that has multiple layouts, I'll use Brands Hatch as an example. Um, they have the Grand Prix, the Indy, and the Rally Cross. So, depending on what you're practicing and what those lap files are for, you're going to put them in the appropriate folder. In this case, I'm using the Legends at South Boston as an example. So you'll go down to South Boston, you'll go into the folder, and you're going to paste those files in there, okay? So there are those files right there, the O lap and the B lap, the optimal lap and the best lap, okay? Now, once you have that done, you're going to load up uh, your test session. Now, the way I like doing it, now these lap files will only work in a test session. Um, I don't think they'll work in an open practice. They'll just work in a, a test session. The way I like going about a test session is I like going to the schedule and picking the track from there. This way, the, the time of day is set correctly. The weather should be set correctly. Um, you don't have to worry about messing up any of the settings and you end up testing at the wrong time of day. You don't have to worry about that. So that's how I set and I, I start my test session. Now, while this is loading, I'll let you guys know. I've also had some questions on uh, the Discord about using brake bias. Um, I'll adjust my brake bias when I race, when I think about it on road. And some guys are, are new and unfamiliar to what that does. So in the near future, I will be making a brake bias video uh, going over how what that number means and what it means to adjust it forward back and, and how how changing that number does that anyways so once you have your your files in place in the lap file folders of the lap that you're working on now racing is loaded up you'll come into uh, the options and you'll go to the options tab I've already done this because this is my second video on this. But you'll set the comparison lap, not the sector. The sector sucks. Use a comparison lap. And you're going to go to load. And this is Joshua from my Discord provided these for me when we were running South Boston because I was struggling. And you'll open that up, and you're going to make sure that the display reference car is checked. If it's unchecked, check it. Okay, so once you have those things in place, you will then just simply get in your car. And run some laps. And why is it paused? How did I pause it? I have no idea. All right, well, fat finger a button and you figure things out, I guess. Anyways, so you get in it and uh, you'll run in a lap. Now, when you start coming around to the start finish line, the car will show up. And I'll slow down so it'll get in front of me. But there it is. So the delta bar at the top is from Joshua's best lap. That is not your delta bar. Well, it's your delta bar, but it's not your lap time. You're running off the reference to Joshua's. And he disappeared when he got Not to the start finish line. It resets when you pass the start finish line. What this is good for is to figure out the line. Um, so you getting on the gas earlier, 
but it works for road, works for that oval. Sixteen point seven one. Like I said, I will I will help any way I can in a series that I have run before. If I haven't run and I don't own the car, obviously I can't help. Um, but me and the guys will help any way we can. So that is a tutorial I wanted to put out there, so guys would be familiar and can understand what to do with their comparison files so anyways i hope this helps hope to see you guys on the track and uh hope this helps again and thanks for watching